Alright folks, welcome to episode 88 of the Wee Podcast, Phil here with Clarky. Hello. Today we're going to talk about the nope, <laughs> we're not going to talk about the ups and downs and the lefts and rights Clarky, we're going to talk about. <laughs> we're going to talk about video games and sort of the effects of what they can have on us, uh, both good and bad, um, that's in part one. Uh, for part two, we're going to talk about the what's trending, and this one's kind of fun this week, there's a there's a couple of things, that was, well, I'm not ruining it for you, um, and then part three, we're doing the weekly series where we have... A review of the recent episode. Well, for you it's recent, but yes. for me it's like six weeks ago. So <laughs> yeah, not so recent, <laughs> but yeah. So Stranger Things, uh, season three. So hopefully you enjoy this one, folks. Woo! You got it right this time. So. Uh, you ever get angry playing a video game? Yeah, I do. <laughs> okay. Um, but it goes away very quickly. Yeah, usually after the game ends. And, well, yeah. it, it's not... I don't I don't really get angry. I get frustrated. I don't get angry. Yeah, well, there, there, I mean, there's been a few games, like... As of late, like, competitive games, like, especially, in, like, D2 with Destiny 2, you know, you get, like, you know, you go on comp. Yes. You lose points on comp. It's not great. That's annoying. Yeah, you're punished for losing. <laughs> yeah, but I'm just, I'm just sort of, I get angry or annoyed at the fact that whenever I get shot, it's either through a wall. And some, and I know people are like, oh, it was dove not through a wall, but sometimes it genuinely yeah, is. Yeah, sometimes it is. And yeah. then when you get blade barrage around the corner or dawn blade around the corner or you get arc what do you call it arc slam and you're behind the wall and it kills you anyway Void. what do you call that Nova Nova Warp yeah yeah you get behind the wall you get killed anyway and some some, <laughs> some silly things I got there but I used to get really angry at you know Spyro yes <laughs> you know whenever you used to you had to like hop on top of all the little plinths and platforms uh-huh, uh-huh. and then there was a bit where you had to glide across onto a different cliff I know what you mean yeah yeah. and you never made it the worst oh and then there's little he falls down and you feel bad for killing the dragon yeah because he's only way he's only way he's only a baby and yeah that used to really drive me up the wall but uh since then i have calmed down a little bit i'm trying to think if there's any games that really gears FIFA, five or no not gears five whenever somebody again. passes it across and taps it in Mm. Oh, yeah, that's the, the worst. Sweat, but you know what? It's a it's a only way sometimes to well, whatever score. you're getting, and it's a legit goal. Yeah, but oh my goodness, I mean, I people just... do it in real life as well. It's an actual yeah. strategy. But yeah, I remember in Gears two or three, it could have been, and the shotgun, the wall hack thing. Oh my god, people used to like so whenever you press A, you just like you could be like ninety miles away from the wall. You press A, and you'll slide right into the wall as if it's cover. And they used to do this thing where they had shotgun, like it was a, it was a part of the game, like it, it was an actual thing people did, like yeah. competitive mode and stuff. And they pressed A, go into a wall, pressed A again, go to a different wall, and all they did was just slide between in uh. corridors, so you couldn't shoot them properly. And whenever they got close to you, the shotgun, you just blew up. The worst. It was so annoying, and then I did it, and I was like, I'm fine now. This is easy. Yeah. 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 So it, it it does make it. I mean, some things do make you angry, but I think in PvP now. I'm sort of okay. It's more PVE or um, just stupid things and that that really get me. Like if you have to do something without dying and no. then you die, that's that's more and over. Yeah. In PVP, it's not as annoying anymore for me. I mean, maybe it's just a, a, a grown up thing. I don't know, but I think it just become. It comes to the point where you just have to remind yourself: games are supposed to be fun. If mm-hmm. they're not fun, stop. Yeah, it's like gambling. Yeah, true. You know, it's like if you're really not enjoying it, then why do you keep doing it? When stop. the fun stops, stop, stop. But no, honestly, there are points whenever I do find myself going, I'm not enjoying this. Now yeah. I'm talking about gaming. There are times where I go, I'm not enjoying this. I need to stop doing this. Yeah. And then I'll go on to something else, be that a different game or be that a different game mode within that game I was playing. Mm-hmm. You know, just something that you can just sort of go, okay, well, I know that if I die in this, I don't care. Yeah. Or I know if. Well, if you die like, in FIFA, there's something wrong with the game. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but you know what I mean like you know if, if I lose in this I'm just going to be like nah yeah so no, I do get it's that, just yeah. a matter of I think um, being mindful to remove yourself from like, situations like well I, I have a, I have a few things for that for a little, a little remedies for mm-hmm. anger caused by gaming so I'll get to them a little, a little bit later on if you want to yeah. run us through some facts <clears throat> well Obviously, we've Fact talked about there about how they can like affect you. So what I did was I looked up some stuff on 
how video games can affect your brain and body. Now, this is all from research. So the first thing I'm gonna give you here um, is from a fairly recent survey called Entertainment Software Association or the ESA's 2017 survey. So 65% of households have at least one member who plays games three hours a week or more, which isn't that much really. Not um, to us, it's not. Nope, the average gamer is 35 years old, which has surprised me, I thought it'd be younger. Um, My brother's 40 and he still games. But you got to think, like, all those boys playing Fortnite are, tend to be younger. Yeah, well, I mean, there's a, there's a good few at the minute, especially on Twitch that are quite old. Not old, but I mean, they're, they're yeah, you older. Know, late, late 20s, mid, well, late to mid 30s, yeah. No, late 20s to mid 30s. Yeah. But I don't even know what age ninja is. I think he's close to 30. But, he's, but mid 35, like, you, that says to me that gamers are like 50. But that's average, but, though. That's yeah. average age. So you're thinking about some people are going to be up there in their 50s as well, so. Maybe even further. Um, of the gaming population, there are more adult women than boys under 18, so there are around 31% um, gaming population would be adult women, whereas under 18 boys, so 18 below obviously, would be 18%, sort of work. Um, so of people who play video games, they say around 59% are male and 41% are female. Well, not on Twitch anyway. So, <laughs> no. <laughs> so, percent female. We... Um, We've discussed before about the World Health Organization and the gaming disorder yeah, the thing. We've, stuff. We, yeah, we've went through that. We've discussed it. Now, the research also is concerned that excessive gaming can also be an addiction. It basically does come through this, but it does say that it is controversial. Um, now, researchers are uncertain about calling it addictive in little inverted commas since problematic gaming may in some cases serve as a dysfunctional coping mechanism yeah. with people struggling um, with, say, for example, depression or anxiety is what they, they would say. So mm-hmm. um, there have also some studies that link playing violent video games to slight increases in aggression, but they do say that aggression is not the same as violence. It's true, yeah. So um, now this is a review by the American Psychological Association. They find that people who play violent video games were very slightly more likely to agree sorry engage in aggressive behavior mm-hmm. now that's actions like playing a loud sound um the people they were competing against could hear over an audio system okay that's not like yeah, going up Sony like, hey, mate, yeah. you shot me punch you in the dick nothing like that <laughs> it's like um that's the, like that's a no blow <laughs> you know <laughs> so there are other studies that have found no link between game violence and violent or aggressive thoughts. So yeah. It's hard to say because it really depends on what you take as your focus sort of group in those. Like, it's it's hard. Yeah, well, we do have that meme going around at the moment where, you know, that woman's, like, blaming gamers and yeah. the gays. And, and the cat. <laughs> yeah, the cat. and the, They're blaming everyone, you know, by a certain person. And, like... I think you said there's no link between you know violence mm-hmm. and video games like but it's just something to blame isn't it that's the thing um, it's an easy target because they don't understand it yeah but I don't understand why though I mean years ago maybe yeah but now especially with the entire like what everything's revolving around gaming now you got Twitch you got Mixer you got all these like you, all the platforms are revolving yeah. around game. Sky Sports had the um what do you call it thing on it e- esports on it now and there you go then it's like, on Sky you pay for Sky and they're putting gaming on it but sure it's violent so you can't it's you can't weird. watch it so but then what happens like NFL UFC rugby football that's what I'm saying but what's like what's, people hack each other down and what's but I mean you're, combat sports does that incite violence because you watch it might and copycats but again but where's the link to it though that's exactly. what I'm saying there, you know, that's what I mean thing. there's no proof so silly so, but yeah, I don't think things gaming causes people to go mental and wise up. <laughs> well, brings me very nicely on to um, the fact that release of games such as like Grand Theft Auto, it actually didn't seem to increase any crime rate. It actually showed the opposite. The reason being is because people are too busy having crime in that game than in crime <laughs> in real life and you can't go around shooting hookers. So, I t- <laughs> but you can't. Not, not legally. No. Um, so, so and in the game you can't do it legally either. You get caught from from the police and all. It's a good <laughs> point. Just side note: don't shoot anyone. <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah. In real life. Yeah. So, uh, a 2015 study found that in the months after popular violent video games were released, aggravated assault and homicide rates actually tend to drop. 
because all the guys are well see that's what they could link with all the homicide guys are well, sitting in their house playing the game instead of going out killing people scientists actually believe that people might actually experience some aggression reducing experience basically for because playing of, the games because yeah. instead of engaging in the behaviour in real life they can go on as you say yeah be a virtual person yeah like yeah what's the word I'm looking for um risk free they can go in steal a car drive through a group of people and you know they can get out get arrested by the police pay off fake money and then they're back out again you know there's no it's not real well i would assume that like, they're not going to think twice about doing it in a game but they would definitely think yeah multiple times yeah. About doing it in real life well you'd so hope yeah you would yeah okay so let me just see I know we're going to talk about this in a minute. Well, I'm not saying in a minute once I'm done, but basically, this is slightly out of date, so I'm not 100% comfortable in reading it, so I'm just going to, I'll do it anyway. So many of the people involved in mass shooting incidents seem to be less interested in violent video games than their peers. So psychology professors Patrick Markey and Christopher Ferguson find that about 20% of school shooters play violent video games, compared to close to 70% of their non violent peers. Now, 2004, this is quite out of date, mm. report on school shooters by the US Secret Service and Department of Education find that only 12% of school shooters displayed any interest in violent video games whatsoever. Now, be that because 15 years ago there weren't as many, I don't know, but... I mean, there, there were definitely a lot of violent video. I mean, you still had Mortal Kombat, that was probably the one... It was huge for, for violence. And then you've got... I mean, 2004, you had Quake and all. 2004, you had loads of Doom and all. There was a Grand Theft Auto, I suppose. But there was GTA. There was Wolfenstein as well, which is very gruesome. So... I don't know. That one I just wanted to read because I don't... I didn't want to go any further than what they said. Yeah. Because I don't know any more no. than what, what's written. So, um, But anyway... In the time period that violent video games have actually became popular, youth violent violence sorry, has declined. So basically, as you mentioned there, it's not hard to find a game where you can rip someone's head off or shoot someone mm-hmm. or, you know, any of that. You know, it's all there. Um, but studies actually show that youth violence has consistently declined as these games have become more readily available. So a study out of Boston University... Um, actually found that youth violence rates dropped 29% between 2002 and 2014. Huge. Youth violence rates spiked from 1980 to 94. Now that's according to the Urban Institute, but those rates started to plummet in the 90s, dropping 34% in just six years. That's massive. Like, yeah. See, I mean, people always said, like, why does... I remember years ago, there, you know, parents used to be like, you know, why are these people creating these games? Like, what's the reason for creating the games? And I mean, sometimes that, that could be a genuine reason where they're like, well... We're gonna let your your kids get whatever they want in this video game, so they don't do it in real life. That could be a genuine thing, but you never know. Yeah, I mean, it could be unintentionally. You know, you just you just don't know what way it's gonna work. But there is a side note on this thing with films as well that says that it is just a correlation. It doesn't mean that they actually yeah. cause them to drop, hmm. but they are side by side. Yeah, it does look as if that could be part of the reason. I'm sure it's a, a part of a reason. Yeah, I would say it would be because it would make it makes sense to me. I mean. Yeah. I, I'm not. I'm saying I'm not going to say that because I play video games, I'm not a violent person. Whereas if I didn't play video games, I would be. So yeah. I don't think, like, regardless of video games being a thing, I wouldn't be a violent person in that sort of aspect. Like, it's. Just, I don't think if I was to stop playing games for a year, I would all of a sudden want to beat the head off people. No, exactly. You know, it is a nice outlet. Don't get me wrong, but. <laughs> Um, no, not doing that. <laughs> I mean, playing games, not, not going around beating uh, someone up. But playing games is nice. But I think I could just put that aside and maybe watch a film or watch a TV show or just hang out with friends or just do whatever. I mean, either way, you're still going to be calm. Yeah. You can still, you know, chat to your mates or whatever. You can still, I don't know, relate to some music or watch. Yeah, whatever. Or read or do literally anything else. But I don't know. Video games is video games to me. Like, there's just nothing. Just. They're not going to be any more than that in terms of. I'm not going to get violent out of playing. I don't know Super Smash Bros or something. Mm. You know, <laughs> even though Mario can be a pain in the arse, but I'm not going to yes. go out and find plumbers and start hitting them in the face with a wrench. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like lock them under your sink. You know? Um. Now they do say that some games, and it's especially shooters in this case, 
are actually associated with improved visual processing abilities. Now, yeah. researchers find that the video game, um, the likes of Destiny and Call of Duty are two examples they gave. Uh, basically, the players of these video games can actually outperform non-players on visual tasks. Um, now, that is basically saying that video games can actually train your visual processing skills in ways that translate to other activities. So, for example, um, the studies sort of showed that gamers had an increased ability to pay attention while filtering out other things, mm-hmm. you know. So, um, while they were really needed to pay attention to something, if everybody else around them was talking or there wasn't background noise, they could actually filter that out because better they're just all the time because they're they're used yeah. to that. But you know, sometimes. I don't know about you, but sometimes when I'm playing games, I don't even notice the music. See, I, I, that's, that's, that's a thing for me. Like, I always like the soundtrack of things, you see. So I, I always listen out for the music. But during, see, but like, see, for example, during like a strike and stuff, and like, don't get me wrong, first load of plays through, and this is Destiny I'm talking about, mm-hmm. I will hear the music. Mm-hmm. See, now, I just, I don't. No, I still, I still, I don't know why, I just like hearing the music in the background, but I, I do, within certain games, if it's annoying music, I will tend to just blur it out. <laughs> but, I mean, for Destiny, I do like the soundtrack and I do like the music and yeah, the strikes and stuff. But even the time we were doing the raid, the, mu- the music stopped. We were playing and then yeah. it just stopped. We're like, oh, well, I've noticed that, haven't we? What's yeah, happened there? Yeah, it was very obvious. Um, Maybe it's just that it blends and I don't notice it, but I obviously I am picking it up. If it's with strikes, I think it's very easy to just try to zone out because yeah. strikes are a you're very... Only eight minutes. <laughs> you're a zombie doing strikes. Yeah. Really, like, realistically, that's that's the way I would put it with me. Anyway, I would, I would pop in the loose, like, what, three strikes it is. Mm-hmm. It takes two seconds. Just, like, you're on autopilot the yeah, entire just time. Just get them done, get yeah, out. Yeah, exactly. Um, but it's not just your vision. Uh, action games can actually boost your hand-eye coordination for adults and children. Mm-hmm. Again, the researchers, these are all from the same report, studying uh, the effects of gaming have asked gamers and non-gamers to complete motor skills tasks that they hadn't actually seen before they find that neither group was actually better than the other at the start but both games improved or sorry both groups improved at the task over time the group that played video games became significantly more accurate by the end which is pretty cool it makes a lot of sense um studies again show that the more time kids and adults spend in front of the screens playing or playing games or watching tv or whatever Mm -hmm. the more likely they are to be overweight or obese which you know sort of makes sense well I mean, if you're going to be sitting doing nothing and you're going to be eating the entire time then yeah I mean the majority of the time I, I remember people going downstairs to grab like like just for talks like a Russell's burger and like yeah. maybe, like the McCain's microchips yeah yeah bring them up on a plate and just eating them whilst playing games like mm-hmm. that's but I mean what's the difference in going downstairs and sitting eating your meal in front of the you know your family like there's no difference it's, they just don't want to exercise is the problem you know I don't think gaming makes them that way it's just if they have something to do in the game they're going to go and play the game and just eat basically the what the researchers sort of find and they did this was a german study it's not the same people they find that kids who spent less than an hour and a half um a day in front of a tv were 75 percent less likely to be overweight than kids who spent over an hour and a half in front of a screen now obviously the more you sit down and the less time you spend on your feet or exercising, the more likely you are to be overweight. That's just standard. That's yeah. obvious. Yeah, that's just... Um, but it is worth noting, they have mentioned here, that other studies have shown that socioeconomic and demographic factors can also have a bigger impact on that, which makes sense. Mm-hmm. You know, excuse me. Now, kids who play sports video games are actually more likely to play sports, they find. Um, which I thought was pretty interesting. But obviously that is, you see it in the game and you're like, you want to go do that? You know, why don't we go outside and kick a ball around? Yeah, I mean, yeah. I do remember the time playing FIFA, like, years ago, like, FIFA 09 and stuff, mm. like, playing those ones. And, like, even FIFA 97, apparently, they were all, like, class three games. Like, but mm. even after that, after you played a couple of those games, you always thought, ah, do you know what, I actually wouldn't mind. I playing. could totally do that. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Well, I mean, you could. I remember in 97, used to be the indoor uh, arenas where you hit the ball, mm. it used to hit off the wall. And sometimes just it was just so much fun trying to, we used to have a little thing where you used to try and score in your own net by hitting mm-hmm. them off the wall. It was fun. But um, yeah, after that, you just used to go out and kick about or even play basketball and stuff. Like, I mean, it was just... Yeah, it's not... It's any sports game. Like, it's... Yeah. It, because you... You you want to be the sports guy. 
Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or girl. at a younger age, you would have won. Yeah, but you know. Know. even nowadays, I'm not going to kick about or you know, chuck mm. the ball about anyone. Anyway, so. Um, I think video games could improve your problem solving capacity and that's obviously due to the puzzle solving and yeah. stuff within most games you know yeah. with even in Destiny you have to figure stuff out so yeah I, I definitely think because you afford a perfect example yeah exactly yeah it's very true actually mm-hmm. um, links between video games and creativity uh, now research this one I thought was quite cool so researchers have found that kids who played video games were more creative than kids who didn't it didn't matter what type of video game yeah. any well, that's um, for YouTube and all the, all the YouTubers and all came around, and Twitch streamers and stuff. Yep. It's really weird because if you think about it, whenever you're like streaming on Twitch or streaming on YouTube or streaming on Mixer or you're streaming, you're technically doing both at the same time. The interesting part was they didn't know whether games made kids creative or whether creative kids were drawn to games. You couldn't tell which. So I mean, certainly in my opinion, it would be the, the latter. Creative drawn to games. Mm-hmm. Okay. Just because I, I am a creative person. And gaming was my thing. I think you're quite creative. Yeah, I mean... Phil's quite creative. Yeah, he is. Kai's not. But... <laughs> <laughs> okay. um, but no, I, I, but no I, I know what you mean. I think the latter is probably more true. Yeah. In my opinion, I think. Because... I don't know why. I mean, whenever... Creativeness is like oh, boiled down to so many things now like it's you've got like creative art and you've got musicianship and you've got you know but like with me I've always liked the like movies and TV shows like scripts yeah. and all that. it's all creative it's all creative yeah, yeah it, is, it is so I think whenever you're into movies or into films or into music you're going to be like it's all of them into one really it's all art yeah so like if you look at it it's all art exactly the so game got, literally is not real yeah somebody has made that yeah well a lot of people have made it but I mean, yeah, <laughs> it's not one, made one some single dev. Yeah. I'm gonna create Destiny Two all by myself. <laughs> but I mean, yeah, I mean, you, you listen like the music, the soundtracks. I mm-hmm. mean, people that don't really appreciate it won't play games. I don't think. No. So I, I definitely think it would be the latter. I think it'd be the the more creative people would be more drawn to yeah. more creative things. But I'm sure, obviously, there are the other way around. Yeah, but I think they're called people. casuals, aren't they? So leave that them or <laughs> just one of these. Yeah. Now, um, Playing games can help people relax, feel better, and trigger positive emotional responses. Now, I know obviously you'll go into this in a lot more detail, but in certain ways, well, you would think that. So, studies have shown that puzzle video games can decrease stress and improve the mood. Uh, and according to research from the American Psychological Association, excuse me, games can actually elicit a range of emotions. Now, as we've already discussed, they are not all positive, no. but that is the case. Now, um, it also showed that children who play a moderate amount of games, so that's up to around 7 to 10 hours a week, yeah. have fewer emotional issues and are more likely to help others than kids who don't play games at all. Weird. Did I did I tell you about the... No, I didn't because you weren't on. There was a wee fella came on and uh, we were in the Dreaming City. I was just farting about my warlock. It was on Destiny 2 and he messaged me. He was like, would you mind helping me with a nightfall? Uh-huh. Uh, did you get 50k nightfall for my uh, hand cannon exotic quest? I can't remember what it was Lumina. for. Was it for Lumina? So I was like... No, no, I didn't actually. Yeah. I was like, yeah, that's no problem. So I went in and helped him, and he was all, he was like, oh, thank you so much, you're so, thank you. And I was like, Jesus. It's yeah. only three right, really. like, relax. Yeah. And I don't know how long he was stuck on it for, but he must have been for a while. Wee while, I would assume. Yeah. God love him. But yeah, maybe you're right. Yeah. It's okay. cool, because obviously there's more, well, the right games are team based. Um, yeah. They've also discovered that video games and their technologies, like virtual reality and stuff, can actually help people recover from PTSD, get over phobias, and learn to manage drug addiction. I've read that about drug addiction and PTSD for for VR. Yeah, a lot of it's to do with the fact that they can provide safe but real feeding scenarios. Mm-hmm. So people can actually face their fears yeah. and you know all that sort of stuff. Yeah, there's one for like fear of heights and fear of um. Oh, imagine that. Ooh. Yeah, no, there there was yeah. fear of heights and fear of spiders and rats and all that sort of stuff. They just put you in a bottom fear of uh, being very alive. There was mm-hmm. one. Which is weird. But why on earth would you... Do you know what? I'm going to go with this fear because it might happen to me sometime. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, how often do you want that to happen? Yeah, like, exactly. Um, Just in case. You never know. This is my last few on here. So, psychological effects of video games can actually vary depending on, as I say, we've said all the way through, mm-hmm. how much you actually can play. So, a study... Now, this is to 10 to 15-year-old children. So, it would be, like, sort of their formative years. Yeah. Um, find the kids who played 7 to 10 hours a week more satisfied than kids who didn't play any at all 
or if you play or kids who played anything from 15 plus basically maybe um, the reason why is because they were getting so many good things in the game they felt well, satisfied and successful what they said was that groups who didn't play or played too much well I say too much is the, the far end the, yeah. the deep end obviously too much is up to yourself yeah. but um, <laughs> played too much um, seemed to have the same level of life satisfaction whereas kids who played the more sort of 7 to 10 hours which is roughly one um, were uh, a I bit think more I, was it 7 to 10 hours a week? yeah yeah it was about an hour and a half an hour and an hour and a half a day mm-hmm. um, now for what we know um, there are obviously ways that video games can help people relax challenge themselves you know, push your cognitive abilities, but obviously, I suppose in summary, excessive gaming um, may be unhealthy or a sign that somebody's actually not having a good time right now. Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah, basically that that was a. Uh, I thought that was really good. I thought it was very. That's well, such a crap word, isn't it? It's such. I thought it was a really. It's a very bad word. Informative. Yeah. <sighs> it's an adjective, by the way. What is? Informative. Good. good. Verbs of doom word. Yeah, what did I say? Verb. Did I? Yeah. I, li- uh, I literally. <laughs> that's so weird. Um, but yeah, like it, it's just, it's one of those. <laughs> is it on oh the my, screen in front of me? Yeah, it's on wiki heart at the moment. But like, you know what I mean. Whenever I'm reading all that stuff, it all makes sense, and I, I get it to an extent. Yeah, but I mean. Not everyone's going to be the same. Like no, everyone, not everyone's, everyone's going to you know react. But it makes sense to... in a general sense. I don't mean obviously yeah. for somebody whose job is to game, but what I mean is like but even still, that's the, I mean you've seen some like Twitch Twitchers. It's a weird thing to call them, but I mean are they Twitch streamers? Twitch, Twitch streamers, yeah. YouTubers, and stuff. But they do get the press because they yeah. play games so often. So it does it does work. I mean it does. It's like, true. It is it does happen like. But it's all up for, it's all obviously down to your own opinion. But anyway, how would you cope with all that stuff? Put your controller down. A good point. Uh, That's the most obvious one. I mean, and it is also probably the hardest one. If yeah. you're like me and you're like, I can't finish on that. Well, whenever you did that whole twelve losing streak, that was awful. That's your own fault. I know. I need to stop. That's you didn't put but you know what the thing was? I kept going. There's no way I'm gonna keep losing. That's, I that's literally what just kept losing. But that's like, it's like a rare form of like gambling as well. It was. It like, was. That's yeah, what it felt like. Yeah, yeah. It's not great, like, but I mean, this and that is, was a lesson learned. <laughs> this is on Wiki High, and it's basically just said how do you get over anger caused by video games. Not a very insightful article because okay. they're all. I mean, you. This is something that you might Google whenever you're like, oh, shit, I really shouldn't have got angry at that. What? Let's let's find some ways to cope with I it. I never Google. <laughs> That's exactly no, what I'm saying, yeah. right? You're not going to yeah. do this. So this article is... How do I stop being angry? Yeah, this is pretty. This is a pretty pointless article, but I mean, unless you're very angry, you start, if you go through like 10 controllers a month, then yeah. maybe this is something for you, but I still don't think but this is going to help you at yeah. all in any way, shape, or form, because they're all very obvious. Okay. But maybe sometimes when you read something, you're like, maybe I should do that. Yeah. Never going to happen for me because it's just... the uh, so controller down is a good one. Yeah, that so makes sense. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, recognize physical symptoms of anger. Tense. You know, that I'm not going to lie, that is something I've been doing. If I start to feel myself start to go... And you've been playing with me before, I went, I need to stop. I need to stop, like, now. I can't keep playing this. It's doing my head in. And then we go and do something else. Do you remember we were playing Crucible the other week and I was like, yep, can't keep doing this. I'm out. Yeah. And I played like three out of five games. Yeah, well, I would... But I don't think... I think everyone knows that though, don't they not? I mean... Not really. People will be like, oh, go another two and then they will just go off the handle. No. See, if, if I... If I... To... Like, for the likes of Crucible, I'll play three five because it doesn't bother me. I'm never going to get that tilted over it because it's just Crucible. Yeah. If it's competitive and we only need to play three games a week to... You know, bonus. get the, the bonus even if you lose three then it's you're still playing the three anyway it doesn't really matter that's how I look at it but I mean noticing yourself getting angry sort of it, it does help you I mean it does, it, it does but you but, can then go okay need to do something else exactly but I don't <laughs> think you need to read an article about it no <laughs> do you know no, what I mean no. um, but so, as I said is I didn't need to read that article it was just something I was like yep I think you need to be self aware yeah. more than everything yes, else but, I mean, it's a good way to put it this says you know tense muscles in the clenched jaw is a way of uh Noticing you're angry. Giving like, the TV the finger. Wouldn't have thought that. A headache or a stomach ache. I've never done that. Headache from playing games. A ball ache from playing games. Oh, I cut, yeah, a couple of them. <laughs> Increased heart rate. No. Yes, I no. Guess. Never. No, but I've never noticed it, but I'm assuming that's like 
But then again, as soon as you start doing activity, your heart rate will increase. I don't know. I just, just it has to. It's, well, the raid maybe because it's like exciting. But see when it's comp and stuff, not really. Or oh no, no. See to be honest, that's I prefer comp to quick play. Why? I don't know. Okay, it's a strange one. Yeah, I just do. Mm. Maybe because it's four players and not six. Possibly, but I just don't, don't know how that would change it. I just like, don't really seem. Don't to have extra four people. <laughs> I just don't seem to really get as annoyed. Yeah. Um. Sudden sweating or shaking. Oh flip. That could be a sign of something else. That's you actually getting pure sweaty boys <laughs> you? and then a dizzy feeling. So well, you your start proper vein popping out of your skull at that and point. Your neck veins showing yeah. everything. You don't know what's happening. Uh, number three, give yourself a break from the game. That's an obvious thing. Uh, this says to call up a friend or meet someone in person. I mean, I'm sure a party chat already. Yeah. So yeah. you're already there anyway. I don't want to talk to you on this go away. <laughs> you know, Ring it around. <laughs> make yourself a meal or a snack. I don't think that would help at all because I think you'd be really angry. You'd probably break your pot. You'd burn your mouth. You're like, oh, that's the worst. I don't think, I've, I don't, I've never thought of myself going down and making some, you know, steak banana. I've never thought of doing that before. Maybe a drink. It's a bit more. Yeah, probably. Make yourself yeah. a drink and just sit in a cool room for a while. Uh, clean your room, the kitchen, the bathroom. Definitely not a good thing to do. No. No. After you've just come off awful. the game. I'm going to yeah. clean, clean my room now. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> the TV's out the window. It's clean now. Um, don't think so. So no, number four, go outdoors. Okay, that's a good one. Simple as that. You just yeah. go outside and go back in again. Uh, <laughs> get, <laughs> I'm outside. And back. <laughs> uh, get physical exercise. Yeah. Don't know how you get physical exercise, but doing some physical exercise is Buy that on eBay or... <laughs> I think doing some physical exercise is a good way of, uh, but yeah, yeah. even, even but, uh, oh, about to say this one, take deep breaths. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, see if you come to the point where you're getting that angry over a game where you have to take deep breaths. You probably just stop playing. You, you should probably stop. see point two or whatever that was. Yeah. Just revert back to point two and then. <laughs> what was it? Point two? Stop point, playing. Point two. <laughs> no. Was uh, recognize your physical symptoms of anger. Okay. Well that, well, okay. Refer to point two and then where's the stop playing? We'll put your controller down. Okay, so C point two and then action point one. <laughs> mm, yeah, and well, point three. Give yourself a break from the game. All three of those do okay, that. Then from Just point one, t- you do point three. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do two, one, three. That's how it should be done. <laughs> but if you ever to go to the point where you have to take deep breaths because you're that angry at a game, there's something you know what, seriously though? wrong there. I, I guarantee you there are people that happens to. Oh, yeah, no, definitely. But that you shouldn't be playing games if that's the case like I know. ever I know Um. so this is another method so addressing the cause of anger okay remember <laughs> <laughs> remember why you play video games for fun for fun I always say that though I'm not being funny there's times where like people are just like they're supposed to be fun just stop playing it it's not fun I don't want to take the piss out of this article but it's so like it's so general like okay. you, you should know anyway it says if you experience chronic anger Okay. As a result of the games you're playing, think about taking on a new hobby and replacing gaming for a while. Yeah, that's I think probably that's a good obvious, idea. Like, I yeah. mean, oh man, I just don't get it. Play a less violent video game. Oh, come on. Again, not. Yeah, we went through the stats. Not going to bother with that. Try one. a game, what you have. Uh, consider that you may be frustrated by a lack of success. Mm, that one's that one's straight in there. It's like yeah. just because you're not successful, that doesn't mean to be successful in video games. Don't shout at video games for it. But you know what? We have definitely spoken about this before. That it gives you that sense of achievement, even though you actually haven't achieved anything. Yeah, but it's time you're getting angry. It says here, so to deal with this type of anger, try playing a game that you've already mastered for a while and enjoy your success. Yes. Or if you have the option to choose the difficulty in a game, try selecting a lower difficulty oh, level. Oh, you hate to, that. To help prevent yourself from getting angry. But whoever wrote this article does not know how gamers work. No. no one's going to go, so what am I going to do? It's going to drop this down to not the hardest. Yeah, but yeah. I mean, I remember playing through Call of Duty 4 in whatever, like hardcore, or whatever yeah. the it's like ins- a one-shot insane one. mode or whatever it is. Yeah. I got, I didn't get like to the point where I was like... Yeah. you know I was like oh, oh, oh balls yeah. that was like on the foot yeah that's, yeah. that's what I'm saying so yeah. but I, I always I never dropped the difficulty level because that's a quitter yeah okay that's just what my I'm mama doing. didn't raise no quitter <laughs> <laughs> it's number four block or avoid another player who's making you angry yep okay get it's, that some people do do that I get that I think I've been blocked a lot of the time but I only get blocked because someone gets annoyed at me for <laughs> playing the game probably I love getting messes yeah um 
Number five, realize if outside factors are influencing your emotions. Okay. Yeah. I mean, cool. that can be with everything. Really. Yeah, it I mean, could it be. Doesn't really matter, yeah. but some if if that's the case, and video games don't help you in that sense, then that that's not the correct hobby for you. Well, it's true. Yeah, do something else that makes you happy. Yeah, that's yeah. like, um, I can't really think. That's like eating fish, if you don't like it. Yeah. Just eat something else. <laughs> it's true. Uh, number six, put a game away if it is constantly frustrating you. <laughs> Again, that's one. That's one thing I never thought of. You know, do I, do I put the game away? I mean, do, do I know they're going to sell them all instead? That's what I'm doing right now. Yeah. You sell all the games because they frustrate me. You're keeping on them, aren't you? Uh, yeah. Did you see it was a new thing? Don't care about it. No. The whole cataclysm thing. Right. Eventually. Didn't look that good, didn't look Eventually. Then I look that good. So silly, like yeah. um, method three of three. These are all different methods, by the way. Yeah. So the first yeah, one yeah, is, yeah. yeah. So. Identifying a more serious problem. Yes, which is possible. So, number one, diagnose a video game addiction. Ooh. Uh, the four points here say, if you become angry, violent, or depressed when you do not spend time playing video games, that's a factor. Okay. Uh, play in secret and lie to others. <laughs> what? People play probably secret, actually do that. Play in secret and lie to others about how much Here time you spend playing video games. Yeah. <laughs> Thing is, there's see with Destiny, you can't do you can that. Check. It's yeah. unreal. Yeah. Uh, notice that video games have taken over your interest in other hobbies, schoolwork, or your job. Uh, consider playing video games more important than spending light, spending time with other people in real life. I mean, yeah, I would, I would say all four of them are definite. Uh, yeah, they're definite picture of video game addiction. Like, um, yeah, that's mad. I never heard that one. Playing secret and lie to others about playing. Well, ne- I've never all heard that. It takes us only to go. It only took me five games. Thirty-five games. Yeah, true. Actually, that's true. Oh, I never thought of that. Now, didn't take me that long. Seventeen hours. <laughs> okay. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, it's very true. Um, jeez, I've just never seen that before in all my life. But if you think about it, that's all that is. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, buying a bit of yeah. a ticket to yeah. obtain to do something to do the story, for example. Well, it took me about three hours. Uh, Seventeen hours. <laughs> Why? Uh, just I, I don't understand. I mean, uh, whatever. But you know what I mean. That, yeah. That's the equivalent, I suppose. Yeah, it's weird. Um, number two, stay in control of your emotions. Is this not one about anger? What? This is this not about anger? Yeah. It's time. Stay in control of your emotions. Why is up with you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anger is an emotion. What is? How is this helpful? Control your anger. That means. Be a bit high. Deep it doesn't tell you how. C point two. Ten point one, then two point three. Oh dear. Uh, number three, ask for help if your anger turns violent. If you think about harming yourself or others, Ooh, don't use, do that. No, <laughs> if you use physical violence such as hitting towards people or objects. Ooh, objects. towards objects. That's Did like I beating say... the bed or something. <laughs> <laughs> what? That does not sound correct at all. So it's like hitting the bed. You're not your potty beating the bed. Do you? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, yeah, fair enough. Uh, the problem is chronic, <laughs> happening over and over again. That's what chronic means. Yeah. Uh, why would it say that? Uh, anger <laughs> towards the game seeps into other areas of your life. Yeah. Maybe even like you're like angry at someone for doing something in a game, or I have. There's been a time. Um, I was playing. I think it might have been with someone I used to hang about with. Yeah. And we all have this issue where the the little turn off thing and your TV comes up. Yeah. Now I turn mine off. And I've told Phil to turn his off. I have told Kyle and I've told everyone to turn it off. I don't know how to turn it off. Just go into the sense and turn it off. Was it in there? Yeah, it's a sleep mode. Just turn it off. I didn't know that. Just turn it off. Yeah. Uh, So this person he's hanging about with, they got so angry, they broke their TV screen. No. Nope. Not even lying. Not even lying. That's hundreds of quids. (laughs) Why would you do that? That's hundreds of quids. (laughs) Why would you do that? Yeah. Broke their TV screen. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. With the remote. Just oh. not not like the TV. The I guarantee it was one of those. Oh no! Right no. as soon as they did it, no. no, no. What happened was they chucked their uh, controller okay. and the microphone that was obviously plugged into the controller. Yeah. I assume the microphone flew off their head or yeah. disconnected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't hear from them on the party chat. I just got a text saying I got to buy a new TV. Basically. Oh no. Yeah. So that was fun. Silly. Yeah. Well, that's your own problem. Um, you have a record of violent or aggressive behavior at work or towards a loved one. Oh. And you feel unfulfilled in your life. Okay. The so, last one does sort of link back. To, so that's that's yeah. the last one. So the three methods. I mean, 
they're all fine. Like, but I mean, again, I just think the a lot of it is just know your is just limits. Know yourself, yeah. Yeah, don't get too mad at a video game. It's just a game. I kind of go through the method one is calm and down in the moment. Mm-hmm. Method two is addressing the cause of anger. Mm-hmm. A method, method, method three <laughs> is identifying a more serious problem. So yeah. if you stick to those methods, you'll find out that you're an addicted gamer. Yeah. So well done. So just try not to do that. It's such such a silly. It's like argument. anything else. If you enjoy it as much as you can, and without it actually being detrimental. Mm-hmm. Then there's no issue. Yeah. Excuse me. Except maybe like cigarettes, because they'll they'll do you in. Well, so does drinking. It does, but not in the same way. Like it does. If you were to drink damage. literally every day, you have a problem. Mm-hmm. But like, even if you. But it's an addiction, isn't it? Yeah, but so if you were to like, no, well, not all the time, because even like they say, what, what I don't know how true the same was. Maybe this might have been a lie, but they always used to be like, every cigarette takes minutes off your life. Take a minute? Like seven minutes, I think it used to be. Uh, used to tell me, don't know how true that is, could be complete rubbish. Well, I doubt, it, I doubt that's true. Like. But either way, they say that um, it does take a lot longer for you to recover from cigarettes than it does other like legal drugs, the likes of alcohol, mm-hmm. coffee, things like that. Yeah. But there you are. That's a whole different podcast. I know, we always do it, don't we? But yeah, uh, yeah so video games cause anger, apparently. Yeah. Um, so but all in all, it's like anything else. Moderation. <laughs> enjoy yourself. Don't let it take over your life if you can. And they're the there. Fun they're stops. There. <laughs> the fun stops. Stop. stop. But like they're there to be fun. If you don't enjoy them, stop playing them. It's it like did say that. It did say. You know, remember you why you're playing video games? No, seriously though. No, like yeah. your games are supposed to be fun, enjoyable, challenging. You know, they're supposed to get you playing with your mates or whatever, playing with randoms, whatever. It's supposed to be an experience you enjoy. It's not supposed to be something you come on and you go, oh. Yeah. If you don't want just don't play it. I mean, with the whole recent things, like obviously we're talking about mass shootings and stuff in there, with there's an awful lot of people who have linked it to violent video games and stuff. We sort of picked this because it is relevant. You know, it, it's. I would, I'm always going to defend video games no matter what because, in my opinion, they haven't changed me, well, my mental state anyway. They haven't made me a better or worse, well, maybe a better person in terms of like things I can do outside of gaming, but they haven't made me unsociable. Yeah, you, know, you they don't haven't. want to go to a shopping centre and go nuts. Yeah, but it, well, that's not unsociable, that's just mental, really. But um, they haven't had negative effects on my life, maybe years ago, maybe years and years and years. But you grew up, you know, mm. and things change. Um, but uh, yeah, don't go out and shoot anyone. Please. Please. Oh, we mentioned that a few times, so yeah. we're deadly serious. Don't yeah. do that. Don't be at that. <laughs> Don't be at that. <laughs> no, but seriously, it's just stop yeah. doing whatever you're doing. It's stupid. And um, enjoy your games. Enjoy your games, yeah. So uh, with that one, we'll end part one there, folks, and we'll catch you in part two. Welcome back to part two. What's trending? Uh, I unfortunately could not find anything fun on my uh, on my what's trending, but Clark, you managed to find a little thing about taking care of yourself. And it's been a really sad week. It has. There's been an awful lot of some stuff. really horrible things. Yeah, and yeah. we like to try and keep this part nice and upbeat. We for do. The most part. Apart from the times when we don't. Yeah. <laughs> but we apart do from those, but pretty every other time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um. So there's a woman on. Uh, Twitter called Alexis Ben Veniste, I assume is her name. I don't know where she's from, what she does. She's a reporter and social editor for TikTok and business. Okay. Good so there you her. go. That's the job. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, she says, What's your favorite thing to do when you're trying to take care of yourself? Okay. Um, now, I'm sure people are going to have some rude ones in here because that's <laughs> what happens, isn't it? Uh, uh, but there's a couple in here like, like the play of my dog. Okay. Not dong. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so many people are so rude. Like, and see if they see if she guys like to find them. Imagine creating this thread and going, "Oh God, oh no!" What, so what, what wrong is she doing with that? Yeah. You know, but um, <laughs> there was yeah. So play with your dog. Uh, do something spontaneous or silly with your other half. Huh, cool. What? What? Say, I go straight to the bad stuff there. Like you know, outside <laughs> naughtiness. But like that. <laughs> oh, That's spontaneous and silly. 
sentence. But you can get arrested. isn't illegal. <laughs> exactly, you can get arrested for it, but it's yeah. a bit silly, isn't it? Um, some people have said music. Yes, that would have been a big one. You yeah. can do music, or you can listen to music, yeah. or you can create music. Or you can do whatever you want. Uh, fellas just went gym. Yeah, don't know who Jim is, but you know, hopefully they're having. Are <laughs> they good for that? Yeah. That would be a big one. Yeah. Uh, yoga. Honestly, uh, this the, the reason I paused for so long there is I was like, "Has he said that wrong?" What yoga? Yeah. What do you mean? How can you say yoga wrong? I, honestly, for half a second, I was like, "Is it not Yoda?" Seriously, I swear. We just, just well, how listen. long was that? That wasn't half a second. That was maybe like two seconds. Just listen to the but like to the word as soon yoga, as you said really? yoga in my head, I was like. Yoga? <laughs> is, that, is that right? Uh, but no, yeah, yeah, I have heard good But to be things. fair, yoga is a really good self help. Yeah, I've heard good so, things. Um, a bath with candles. That would be really sore. <laughs> see some of these things. Like, yeah. so, see if you think they're so literary. It's, yeah. it's, I mean, a bath with candles, a fire bath? <laughs> <laughs> or you put them in the bath and they just go out. <laughs> just all these random candles floating, <laughs> floating around, <laughs> floating everywhere. <laughs> Oh dear! Uh, Ninety minutes of exercise outdoors. It's quite a long time. Followed by a long hot shower and some couch time. This guy is going deep. Man, this whole afternoon. Uh, pro- preferably with bad Canadian sci-fi or a cheesy eighties movie on the TV. So he's straight in there. Okay. Don't know why he would go straight into you know eighties stuff. Baking. Oh. Yeah, it's good fun. Mm-hmm. Yep. Cooking. Well, there you go. Sleep. Yeah, seriously, gets sleep. away from all issues. <laughs> yeah, and actually, it's like yeah, the first thing I would do is just sleep. Yeah, um, buy a dog. Yeah, that's gonna make anyone happy. So unless you're like so self care, I'm gonna buy a you dog. Care of dogs, I'm just gonna buy the. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> could you imagine? Oh, I'm so scared. I'm gonna buy you. <laughs> no, but I mean, could you imagine? It's like Wilson. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, hello, Wilson. Um, but I mean. What if you're gonna what if, what if you're gonna be like, oh I'm gonna take care of myself, then I'm gonna buy a dog? Yeah, what happened to the thirty dogs you got in your house? I felt bad thirty this is thirty one. <laughs> oh dear, you just numbered them as well. And there's dog number one, two, three. Uh get a massage. Uh be pretty good, never have one. Buy a masseuse? Never. Yeah. Don't think I'd like one. I don't know. Don't know. Some people are I don't know how feeling. comfortable I feel about it. Yeah. But I would, get, like, I would try it. Boner and stuff. <laughs> 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 I, would, I would try a professional massage once to see what I thought. I meant like from, from the film. I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know the film I'm talking about, don't you, with John Favreau? He gets the boner. No, I haven't seen that one. Oh, is that the couple's retreat? Yeah. Yes, I have seen that one. Yeah. He that, no, that's Vince Vaughn. No, it isn't. Is it not? Oh, no, Vince Vaughn's in it, but John Favreau's the guy gets the boner. Oh, then there you go, then it is couple treat I'm thinking of. He's a dirty yeah. man, isn't it? Very, very dirty man. Oh, he goes to the island. We spoke about this recently. Yeah, of course we have. It was like three weeks ago. Okay. Or right. like a month ago or six right. months ago, however long it was. Um, buy food. Yeah, that's going to help. See, that's... Well, it'll help. It's a short-term fix. It's so a very short-term fix. It's like a band-aid over a hole in a sink. <laughs> so you're going to fill up the sink? Well, it'll help for a bit, and then it'll fall off. Well, I mean... You, you, it's probably the worst thing you could do is buy food because once you eat it you're going to feel bad afterwards it's healthy food though probably not though the, the, go out and buy it the person who said grapes. buy food is a thing of macaroons sitting here so it's probably not a oh, macaroons are friggin unreal which macaroons are you talking about though the ones they can't see that I know but I don't know how else to describe that the they're on ones. top of each other the coloured ones well they're not always coloured they can be other they can well, they're obviously I will always have a. Color. Yes, they do. Yeah, but like, exactly. But what I don't mean is what I mean is sorry. They're so not, not the always... coconut ones. What the hell's that? Macaroon. Do you know the ones that are like coconut flakes with the chocolate at the bottom? Please, Lord, tell me. He what is heard. this? I'm gonna have to Google this afterwards. Ugh. What is this? A macaroon? Yeah, I'll show you them afterwards, and you'll be like, "Oh yeah." What are you? What are, what are these? Are they not the ones with the wee <clears throat> lumps on the top? What? With the coconut lumps on the top? And there's like. Eight little lumps of like marshmallow with coconut over it, and then there's a biscuit at the bottom. Oh, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, that's not well, what are they? Lumps it's... is a terrible way to describe them. They're like little peaks of marshmallow with coconut on the top with a sort of biscuit thing on the bottom. It's not, it's not Mikado, no, that's like a stick of chocolate. Mikado, no, I know what one's drawn about. They're the little, the little jam things. That's... Yes. 
They're yes. A, no. What do you call them? I don't know. Macadoos. <laughs> I don't know what you call. No, them. Macaroons are these little little jubblies. <laughs> Like little things there. Some you can get chocolate at the oh, bottom. Oh, they're unreal. Yes. Oh, my God. They are nice. Right, so they're called coconut macaroons, right? Yes. But macaroons are the ones you're talking about. The yeah, ones with that like, have... they're like meringue. Yes. Like on top of each with other. With like a little jelly in the middle. Yes, they're crap. Yeah, I can't have them. Why? There's nuts in them. Oh. Yeah, almonds or something in them. I flip and love macaroons. Well, I'm glad you like them, Clarky, because I can't have them. I'll die if I have one, so good for you. <laughs> um, face mask. Yeah. I'm Hair not, mask. Not against it. Body mask. oil. What? So, what? Have you had a face mask? Oh, I do them all the time. Really? <laughs> oh. Me and Rachel do them. Oh. They're good. Oh, they're very nice. Yeah. I can't do them. No, I, you have to have a wee shape first. Like, yeah. Otherwise, you just have this bit. But you can sometimes do just like a T-zone. Yeah. What am I talking about? Anyway. I don't know. It's the whole Love Island thing. <laughs> really got, got into your life, have not You can't wait for the Winter Island. Here we go. Um, I don't think. Probably. I would assume it would be at some point. I Wonder assume that's what's going to happen. Wonder was real or not? They're going to have the summer Love Island, they're going to have the winter Love Island. I think that's what's going to happen. So you're going to have all the people canoodling in the winter going, no, then Oh, I'm cold! In the winter, they just have their like, coats on. <laughs> yeah. It'll be so boring. It'll be all this, oh, I'm freezing, just start button. That's what'll happen. <laughs> <laughs> what's happening? Just have like a really long scarf. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just have to make the most of it. Yeah. Uh, foot moisture. I don't know what that is. Uh, Moisturiser, I would assume. File your nails and paint them. No. Have a glass of wine or a beer. Yeah, okay. It's not self-care, but it certainly does help your mind well, a little it bit. Can, it's like mentally, it can make you like, ugh. Just relax a bit. Eat strawberries? Yep, I told you. Did what? I mention strawberries earlier? No, no I said grapes. Grapes. But I was thinking also. I do, like a, I do I like a grape. Love grape. What wow. colour? The black ones. Really? Black or red. Okay. Don't like cream. Really? Beer, okay. Beer, right. They're too soft for me. Let's put them in the fridge. <laughs> I'll just sort them right out with it. That's it right. doesn't sort them out. They're, they're, see the red ones and the black ones? Rachel also prefers those. Well, they're much better. They're much sweeter. Oh, okay. But I bought green ones out and they're really good. Did she say no? It's not her choice or mine. Oh, okay, no. They're really nice. Well, they're all good ones, but I'll, I'll, she's... Alexis has went and picked her. This is like the one who is in yeah. the Amazon thing. Um, <laughs> it's Alexa, I know. Uh, but she has picked a lot of uh, self care suggestions. The best one she's seen, she says. Um, so the top one, don't know who would do this. Buy yourself some flowers. Okay. Do a face mask. Yeah. So don't put one on, just do one. Yeah. Uh, watch something that makes you laugh. So, yeah, I actually, don't mind it. I, I used to watch a lot of Lee Evans, or at the most, I'm watching Mickey Flanagan at the minute, he's pretty funny. Mm -hmm. uh, take time to write and create. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so do yoga, you know. <laughs> or Yoda, if you want to <laughs> have a weird fantasy in your mind there. Um, <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> boy, I see. <laughs> uh, take a walk in nature. Uh, read, cook, sleep. Exercise, drink a lot of water, and meditate. Okay. So that's her best, her best picks. Mm -hmm. um, my opinion, to bring it back around to the first part, would be play a lot of video games. You could, you play video. That could definitely help. Yeah. Helps me out a little bit. So uh, yeah, still big in the lots, in the lots trend. There you go. That's, not that's, much trend. <laughs> yeah, not not much trend. Yeah, but uh, yeah, we'll leave that one there, folks, and we'll catch you in part three. Welcome back to part three. So we've been doing the Stranger Things season three. We're now on episode five for the recap. Um, again, what did you think of the episode? Uh, they've just got better. Yeah, and again. better and better. This again. one was class. Yeah, I, I loved it for. I watched it like six months ago. So no, I <laughs> watched it like a good while ago. So yeah, I'm not he. Well, I am a little bit hazy actually. That's a lie. Um, so I'm back on the old coming soon dot net. Yes. And I have the little layouts called The Flayed, yes, Alexi, that, that was the episode, yeah. and Deep Underground. Okay, so I will expand on those. So You do it because you watched it like three hours ago. Yeah, for that. Mm. But <clears throat> that's not where it started. No, I know, but this is what I'm saying. So, like, it's... But uh, to, to expand on that, um, Hopper and Joyce find the farm. Mm -hmm. The he uh, oh, what's the farm called? <laughs> the he it's like Hef Farm. It's Hef Farm, I think. Yeah. And basically, uh, 
they it's the last place to take off on their list of places to look for that they find yeah. from the mayor's uh, land sale yeah. stuff. Yeah. 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 So they go and they go into every room and like what the hell like you know there's a noise why can we not hear where the noise come from? Mm-hmm. Joyce puts her ear to the floor and she's like oh it's from underground. That's right. And then she sees the light and they lift the thing. She died. No. <laughs> Well, I don't think so. We've only got the episode five, but I don't think she'll die. But anyway, so they left. No, no, they no. left the thing. Like I don't even know what it was. It was like a bed, or I don't. Yeah, know. it was a bed. It was a bed. It was a little underground stairway underneath the yeah. bed. Yeah, it was like one of those fold down bed things. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, yeah. And then they left it up, and they go down, and Hopper's like pointing his gun everywhere, and then he bumps into Alexi and another fella. Alexi being the wee Russian guy with the glasses, um. Then he starts being like, "Put your hands up! Put your hands up!" And he's like, "Blah blah blah blah,", blah in Russian. Yeah, because they don't understand. They English. don't understand each other. So then the big Russian guy who beat up Hopper at the, the yeah, basically yeah. is what he looks like. Mm-hmm. Uh, he pulls up on his bike and they hear his feet like thump, thump, thump on the stairs, dancing all around. He was and upstairs, <laughs> and actually upstairs. So whenever he gets downstairs. The other Russian guy, not Alexei, is tied up with a yeah. in his mouth. He can't talk. Yeah. And then Hopper and him have another fight. He basically busts the guy's knee. Yeah. Terminator's knee. They take Alexei, handcuff him, and um, put him in the van. And then he shoots at the van on the way off. You forgot about the part where Joyce chucked Hopper his gun. Oh, completely missed. Yeah, it was like nowhere near. Him. Nowhere near Hopper yeah. whatsoever. Like. Yeah, it was a very bad throw. Well, I mean, Joyce is terrible. I mean, she's 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 like the worst. She's like the sidekick you never want. <laughs> I mean, she's good, like in the detective like, work. Hopper, and it's like miles past him. He's like, ha, ah, and then she's like, nope, <laughs> and just chucks it away. It's like they kid up with my GPS. We'll never be lost, and yeah, it just and flies, it just flies, flies off. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I thought that that part was just sort of, I don't know. I just didn't I thought he was gonna lose again. Yeah, I thought he was going to get smacked. Like, yeah. I thought he was going to get killed in that yeah. part. I was like... Did you? Yeah, thought he was yeah I die. thought he was going to die. Because, I mean, see, whenever she chucked his gun, I was like, he's oh, going to get sh- that. He goes to shoot the Russian guy. Yeah. Remember? Yeah. And it's like, uh, he's like, you won't shoot me, you're a police officer. Yeah. And then he's like, oh, you think I won't? And he's like, one, two. Yeah. Fuck, it shoots. And then yeah. the guy, like, moves. Yeah, like, instantly as well. The, the one thing I... The one issue I have at that point was he would be, like, deaf. Oh, the Russian fellow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That was definitely. like right beside his what, ear. It's, it's a. It's a. What is it? It would be like. Ee! Like he'd be all like, whoa. Isn't it like a three fifty seven caliber bullet as well? So big gun, like. It's yeah. Not gonna. Yeah, you, you're probably gonna have a missing ear if if you're gonna shoot that close, really. Well, I mean, he obviously dodges out of the way, but all he does is move his head. Mm. So you'd think it would still be like, bang, and he would be like deaf, essentially, in that ear. Yeah. So. After that, we get Nancy Colin, old Jonathan, to speak to his brother Will. Which he's not there, obviously, because he's yeah. too busy playing with his friends yeah. again. Uh, Overnight. Oh. Sure, that uh, was after the whole big fight. I know, I'm yeah. sure. I mean, where, where's Joyce? Like, what is she? She's, she's too busy. Like, That's what I'm saying. Like, what's she doing? Where's her, where, she doesn't even know where her sons are. Good point. Ridiculous. Terrible parenting. <laughs> um. So Mrs. Driscoll's charge showed that her body temperature was down. Uh, so the, obviously the minor likes it cool. We all know that. Yep. Um, so they find Will at... Where were they at? The Wheeler's? They were at the Wheeler's house downstairs because she's like... She knocks the door and he's like, Not now, Mom! Yeah. And then he's they're, like, It's Nancy, open the door. They're and all then, like... She, I think they're 11s looking for Hopper. She's already found him. At this point? Yes. Right. Because she finds him just before that. <clears throat> because he in the meantime has the cars blown up in the meantime the police car that was shot has blown up mm-hmm. uh, and Alexi, Joyce and Hopper and I walking through the woods mm-hmm. and then she um, uses her powers and it sort of fades out yeah. and she's like they're going to Illinois mm. and they're all like what? and they're like oh Illinois like the state and she's like Illinois I don't know and then how do you know it's pronounced Illinois not Illinois? because they say it no, oh, that's right. They did say yeah, it during the like going to yeah. Illinois to meet the guy who can speak so, Russian to translate that's right. Alexa. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> and then he, as they disappear, she takes off the thing, and then that's where Nancy appears mm-hmm. with "I need to speak to Will," and then they're all like, "Oh my word, this is real." Basically, because they then tell her about why can't Bobby? 
What's his name? Billy. 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 My goodness. Um, Bobby. They then. <laughs> oh, Bobby. They then tell. Uh, uh, her name has gone from my head. Nancy. My goodness. Eleven. No, Nancy is correct. Now they then tell Nancy about the whole Billy thing, and that's when Eleven has the big bruise. On her. Oh yeah, from getting struggled. Yeah. Yeah. On her neck. That pretty girl, like she's only like four. She's like, I think she's like 15 or 16 really. Yeah, she was in that Godzilla film, sure, wasn't she? Was she? I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it, but I know she's in it, I think. Um, so yeah, they find uh, evidence of ingested chemicals and stuff where the yes. things and stuff were. Because they go to. Uh, oh, sorry, in that part, sorry, this is linking into this. In the part where Eleven's telling them about Billy, they mention Heather's name. Yeah, and she's like Heather, such and such. Yeah. Oh my word, her dad's the guy from the paper. Yeah. So then they go to her house, and this is where they find the ingested chemicals. Yeah. And she also finds the bottle that's on the been floor smashed that, that, against Tom's. I the one that hit him in the head. She's mm-hmm. like, he had a plaster on his head. Maybe he's taken too, or not taken, but maybe he's been flayed. He's been well. taken. Maybe yeah. he's been flayed as well. Yeah. Um. So, th- this part says on the on the uh, website that they, as a group, go to. The hospital. The hospital. That's right. But in between that, Alexi's being... So, we've also completely missed out Dustin and well, stuff. Well, we have... See, this is the thing with this website, right? They have all this written down, which... I mean, they you have seem it to in, finish story after story, but then skip out. Like, in between the yeah. actual... Because like, everything's so like you said right. like last week. It's just all been... It's all in the same sort of time period. Yeah. Um... But you're right. And uh, while all this is going on, Joyce, Hopper, and Lexi have reached the guy in Illinois' house. Mm-hmm. I can't remember his name, but basically, he's like one the same guy who helped Jonathan and Nancy in the first or sorry second series. Yeah. So. Uh, Murray Bowman. Who? Murray Bowman. Is that a real name or in the no, show? It's, it's show. True, yeah. Um. So essentially, they go to him. He does like a quick scan up down Lexi. Uh, he's like oh, I'll take all the time I want this is a Soviet guy he can't actually speak Russian which is good but Joyce is like no nope, I'm not having this you're wasting my time flip in come on sort this out hmm. and that's the last you see of them in that episode yeah so they've also in the meantime to get to Illinois because obviously their car blew up they stole another guy's car yeah at the by pretending to be the police and the Alexei was a mass child murderer yeah <clears throat> and the gas both, station they both got it wrong whenever no she got in she was like big four drawer yeah, yeah. And child murder child murder yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah that's right actually I forgot about that but also um, whilst everything is happening Dustin and his boyfriend Steve yeah and Robin yes and little other girl Erica Erica yeah. Yeah. I mean, oh she puts the uh, Erica in America yeah there you yeah. go there you go yeah. if any time you can't remember her name just think of that yeah, yeah. can't so, have America without Erica I think that's what she said you can't spell America without that Erica. what it was yeah. okay but that means her name has to have a C in it and not a K which I don't like okay terrible so they're obviously in the lift in the elevator that has reached, that has reached yeah and that has reached the bottom <laughs> He's reached the bottom, reached his destination basically, and they go on about a forty mile walk. No, that there's a bit before that. Okay. Where um they, oh, they are trying get, to get out. And they have the and Dustin's like, Why don't we climb? And it's like, Oh my word, it's so tall. That's right. Oh so yeah, they whatever they can do, they just look up yeah, it's like, it's there's like, no ladders. What is that about climbing? Yeah. And then that's right, that's right. the people show up in their wee forklift things to pick up the boxes and yeah. they all hide up the top. And then as the door is about to come down, Steve sticks one of the little green Tube canisters. Yeah. And they also smell crawling. pee. The Russians smell pee. Yeah, because he peed off the yeah. <laughs> It's like, what's that smell? Did you like, say he peed in her face? No, he peed off the edge. Oh, don't and She's like, do you want to turn around? And he's like, shh. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, Disgusting. But anyway, the wee green canister eventually breaks under the weight of the door. They all are obviously on the other side at this point. And you see it melt through the floor. And Erica wanted to drink that, funny enough. Lucky she didn't. So then, as you say, they go on the 40 mile walk and the walkie talkie starts going, mm-hmm. which is like, oh, that's something that's pretty close to ground, so we must be pretty close. And then they see all the people, all the workers, yeah, all the like walking around. out with their guns and all the scientists. So they go from box to box and they go into a room they think is going to get them out. I don't understand they didn't get caught because they were very open, in my opinion. Maybe they just waited for people to walk past. And just but they, they had, you had people that are up on a, above things and you can see right down where they were as well. They've not been looking. You don't look for... You don't see what you don't look for. So, 
but then as I say they get into this wee room and then there's a Russian guy and Robin tries to start to speak Russian to him and he's like what? Yeah, but the uh, whole black yeah. Yeah, she's like, I am the cat, and she does like wavy yeah. tails. Silver, silver, yeah. silver. And she's like, it? China. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and then That's he's right. like, Oh no! And then Steve beats him up, knocks him out. First ever fight, he's won. Yeah. Then they walk up the stairs, and like, guys, you got to see this, and it is like the machine that you see in the first episode, mm-hmm. trying to open the upside down again. Okay, and that's where it ends. For them. Okay. We haven't done the other hospital part yet. So, I'm just hoping this is the episode. I don't want to spoil anything because I'm obviously an episode. In the ep- this episode ends with uh, Nancy and Jonathan going to try and get Miss Driscoll out of the hospital. She is not there, and the stuff's all knocked over. And Tom, comes and then in. Tom comes in. So it is this episode. Thing, yeah, that's fine. And they have the big fight, and then there's also the other guy from the paper, the blonde yeah, guy. The guy the, yeah, the guy who looks like he's like, I don't know, like some. Yeah, yeah. Murder. He looks. He yeah. looks. He's, he does he's creepy look like an awful though. person. <laughs> so they basically are both flayed and in the mind and um, <laughs> not skinned. No, and Jonathan and and Nancy try to fight them off. Mm-hmm. But basically, what you've what 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 you've sort of noticed is that if you hit one, the other feels it. It, well, it is all. It is all one. They're all linked. Yeah. So what happens to one can happen to the other, basically. Mm-hmm. John gets his head kicked in essentially. Nancy um, kills the the guy with a fire extinguisher after on the way for a bit, and John stabs Todd, Tom, Tom in the throat with the scissors, mm-hmm. and then they both melt. Do that like melty thing the rats were doing, and sort of go down the hall until they meet each other, and it ends with them becoming like the big rah monster thing. So it. Ends there. That's where it ends. Okay. 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 You've got a. You you're gonna like the next episode. Yeah, I thought that was very fun. very good. Like anything that starts to bring in the monsters, I'm on board, and that started to bring them in hard, in both the sense of that the people are taken and See, there's now like a physical monster. This is the problem there, right? Because like, I I'm not like disrespecting any of the episodes when they got there, but literally. It, is just because they're getting better and better. Yeah. But see, trying to remember things from the, the previous episode, mm-hmm. I really should just watch them like beforehand, just be like, okay, that's what happened. But it's I would have watched it previous. It's just the way this week's fallen. Yeah. Um. But with the I'm like, not sure. yeah, well, with, with the next episode coming out, like whatever I've watched the next episode and like they just get better and better. It's just from the last episode. That's all I, all I remember is enough from the, like a lot from yeah. the last episode. So. It's. I mean, they they do get better and better. You're correct in what you said there with, yeah. with episode five, like. But that's episode, my favorite one so far. Definitely. Yeah. Well, episode six is my favorite one. Mm. I I haven't watched seven or eight yet. Yeah. But I think I might watch episode six again. It's good. Yeah. Just to get myself mm-hmm. sort of. I don't like being the guy that's like, oh, I've watched this and <laughs> like I don't five weeks ago. <laughs> I don't like watching something twice if I don't need to, but I feel like I need to. When these, yeah. I'll, I will. I'll, I can't wait to watch it. Like. Yeah. It's another one of those series that once I finish the episode, I'm like, ooh, now what? It's got to that stage. That's that's what I was telling you the last time I see the mm-hmm. episode. I think it was episode three that finished. I was like, meh. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, and then it was like, episode yeah. four, what's that one? Then that was the mistake. It was a trigger. I should have stopped yeah. at episode three, but episode <laughs> four was one was like, oh, I can't, not, I can't not watch them now. You know, so. Um, yeah, very, very good episode. I yeah. thoroughly enjoyed that one. So did I. Um so episode six will be next week. It's so mad, like three weeks. Then just finish this complete season. Mm-hmm. Like. This time season four will be out, so it'll be alright. <laughs> yeah, I'm only joking. I'm only joking. <laughs> Speaking of jokes, uh, nice. Got a couple of uh, nice segue. daddy jokes in there. No, no, I don't mean daddy jokes. And yeah, Sorry. yeah, you're a dirty man, Clarky. <laughs> it's <laughs> a very sexual orientated podcast. This I don't know why. Um, I just got fired from a florist. Okay, I'm not getting it. Apparently, I took too many leaves. No, it's nice. It's not, it's not nice at all. Yeah, good one. Um, no, it's not terrible. Dad, I'm cold. Yeah. Go stand in the corner. Why? Here's 90 degrees. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 no. It's giving me a dirty advert. Would you believe that? 
What? It's given me an advert because I have I've, I've pressed the the thing. It was an advert for what do you call it? For all, it's always sunny. The game. Oh really? Yeah. Stuart. I won't play that. How many apples grow on a tree? Don't know. All. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what do you call a careful wolf? I don't know. A werewolf. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I did not know these. It's time for something to be fair. Yeah. They're that simple. That's what they're called. Dad, that was a good one, yeah. Um, I was just looking at the ceiling. I'm not sure if it's the world. <sighs> not sure if it's the world's best ceiling, but it's certainly up there. <laughs> 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 My dog has no Oh no. My dog has no nose. How does he smell? Awful. Okay, I'll tell a couple of more. Uh, what do you call a cow with no legs? No cheek? I don't know. <laughs> what? I don't know. Ground beef? Ah, oh, good. Yeah. What do you call no. a cow with two legs? I don't know. Lean beef. <laughs> <laughs> what do you call a cow with all of its legs? Cow. High stakes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll lose cow jokes, so uh, I'll leave that, that one there. I'll move on. Yeah. We'll move on What to the end. Mm-hmm. It's finished. Yep. The episode's finished. Yeah. What are we going to do now? I don't know, I couldn't think of a pun quickly enough. A pun? Yeah. What, what are you going to say, what, a pun about cow cows? A pun, yeah. It's a bit black and white, isn't it? No. No? No. I'm what? utterly terrible. Ah, that's terrible. Yeah. That's shocking. Uh-huh. Oh, dear. Well, that's another episode, folks. Um, Yeah, it's been a sad one if you just ruined it with a bloody pun. But, um, <laughs> yeah, we'll end that one there, folks, and we'll catch an episode 89 next week. See you there, folks. Bye.